Ever been trapped in a sinking car? Poisoned by toxic mushrooms or attacked by hippos? No? Well, then you must be worried about it, right? Extreme danger could be lurking just about anywhere, so it's really important you're prepared for the worst. Put yourself to the test with these 10 survival riddles that you must solve to stay alive. Listen carefully and think fast. It might just save your life. Amazing. Number 10. Rhino Attack You're on safari and you hear a strange grunting noise coming from behind you. You turn and find yourself face to face with an angry rhinoceros. And he looks like he's about to charge. Do you A. Puff up your chest and make yourself look bigger? B. Play dead? Or C. Hide behind a tree? Answer quickly! It's coming right for you! Now let's see if you'd survive. If you went for the first option and puffed up your chest to try and scare the rhino off, you'd better take a long, hard look at yourself. Unless you're Brian Mills, an angry rhino isn't going to be frightened of you, and my money is on him in a fight. If you went for the second option and played dead, he might still come over and investigate, and you don't want to risk being trodden on by a two-ton monster. Option C would give you the best chance of surviving a rhino attack. That's right, rhinos have famously bad eyesight, so hiding behind a tree and waiting for him to wander off is your best chance at making it out of there alive. But watch out, rhinos make up for their bad vision with a strong sense of hearing, so make sure you keep it quiet. In real life, if no tree or scrub is available, stand still and face the animal. As it approaches, scream and shout as loud as you can and it may be enough to scare it off. If all else fails, attempt to dodge its charge and run in the opposite direction. Number nine, poison puzzle. Having survived the stampeding rhino, you're feeling a little bit hungry. So you decide to eat a strange seed pod you found hanging from a bush. Big mistake. It contained a rare poison and you're starting to feel deathly ill. Thankfully, a local turns up and tells you that certain types of food and your own problem-solving skills will save you. He says things like grapes and pumpkins would save your life, but bananas and onions wouldn't. All you have in front of you is a tomato, lettuce, and cabbage. What do you pick? Think carefully. This is a tricky one, but if we know grapes and pumpkins counteract the poison, we can guess that's because they grow on vines, unlike bananas and onions. So logically, we'd better eat the tomato, as that grows on a vine too. Well, what do you have to lose? Your breakfast, I guess. Number eight, bolt from the blue. Okay, so you've survived the rhino and the poison. What's next? This next challenge proves you don't need to be on an exotic vacation to make life and death choices. Imagine you're stood on top of a mountain and a lightning storm rolls in. The last thing you'd want to do is get fried with a few million volts of electricity. How are you going to get yourself out of this one? Here are your options. A. Hide under a tree. B. Curl up into a ball. Or C. Start running down the mountain. Hmm. Well, if you answered hide under a tree, you'd better think again. That's the last thing you'd want to do. Lightning always strikes the highest point, so standing near a tree would just increase your chances of getting burnt to a crisp. Curling up into a ball would be better than nothing, but the best option is C, as long as the mountain isn't populated with tall objects. Start heading down the mountain and get yourself away from danger. Number seven, Death Valley. Now imagine you're in a desert. You're all alone with just a few supplies and a bottle of water. It's not enough to last very long and you need help. What's the smartest way to find help and survive the scenario? A. Head off and try to find water as soon as you can. B. Take your clothes off to cool down and ration your water. Or C. Rest under a nearby tree and wait.
Let's go through the answers. If you picked the first option and just walked straight out into the desert, you'd very likely just get lost and die of thirst in the hot sun. Uh, sorry. And if you took your clothes off to try to cool down, you'd get a bad case of sunstroke, and then die in the hot sun. Nope, the best option is just to find a bit of shade and just wait it out. When evening comes and it's cooler, you can walk much further to try and find help. Number six, all you can eat. So from one extreme survival situation to another, and you're back in the rainforest for my sixth survival riddle. You've been lost in the jungle for days and you're close to starving. You haven't got much energy left, but you know that if you can keep going another couple of days, you'll make it to the nearest town. What's most likely to save your life? A, foraging for mushrooms and roots from the forest floor, B, looking for fruit, or C, hunting one of the giant wild boar that live in this area. Option A sounds like a piece of cake, but you might be forgetting that lots of mushrooms are dangerous and can have unexpected side effects, especially somewhere like the rainforest. Some mushrooms are so deadly, even a couple of bites can kill an adult. So unless you're an expert, foraging for mushrooms might be a meal that bites you back. Option C is also off the menu. Hunting a wild boar isn't a safe thing to do in an emergency. Those huge angry pigs could leave you seriously injured, as well as lost and hungry. Your best bet to save your bacon is to go for option B. Fruit is safe to eat and should keep you going until you find civilization. Now that's food for thought. Number five, towering inferno. We're halfway through our survival riddles and things are really heating up. Your luck's going from bad to worse as you've somehow found yourself on the 38th floor of a burning building. The building will collapse in a minute, and the room you're in is filling with smoke. You'd better pick an escape route and a fast. A, take the stairs and hope you can make it. B, jump out of the window even though you know it's too high. Or C, take the elevator, even though there's a sign on it that says do not use in case of fire. Let's see what you've got. If you're on the 38th floor and you try to make it down by the stairs, you'd be in serious trouble. There's no way you'd make it down in a minute, and you might run right into the blaze and be stuck in an even worse position. As for jumping out the window, well, that's just certain death. In an extreme situation like this, it might be time to break the rules. So ignore that warning sign and risk the elevator. Sure, it might not work out, but if you're going to die anyway, maybe it's worth a shot. Number four, castle tough choice. You're trapped in an abandoned castle. The lights are out and nobody's home. Only the wind and the sound of ghosts whistling through the empty window frames. There are three doors that lead back out to safety, but each promises to kill you in a different way. The first door leads to a room full of deadly snakes and spiders. The second door just leads to a sheer drop with spikes at the bottom. The third door opens to an electrified moat. Which do you choose? You're sure to meet a sticky end if you pick the first door. You'd make a tasty meal for a giant jumping spider or boa constrictor. The second door is an obvious no-no. I don't know any survival tips that would help you survive a long drop onto some metal spikes. The solution to this riddle is through the third door that leads to the electrified moat. If you listened carefully, you would have noticed that this is an abandoned castle. The lights are out and nobody has lived there for years, so the likelihood the moat is still being electrified is pretty low. So just check the power's gone out and you can swim across to safety. Number three, dead in the water. Don't let the solution to the last riddle fool you. Water is often not your friend. Imagine you are driving home one day when you crash your car into a river. Oops. You have three options to save your life. Do you A, open the door to escape, B, wind down the window and let the water in, or C, stay in the car and wait for help?
let's start with the last option. Are you crazy? You're trapped in a sinking car. Nobody's going to come in time. You have seconds before you drown, so you need to act now. As for the first option, if your car is underwater and you've tried to open the door, you'd very quickly discover it's impossible. The weight of the water on the other side would be far too heavy for a normal human to move. So unless you're Superman, I strongly recommend you go for option two. Roll down the window and let the water in. This might sound stupid, but it'll equalize the pressure inside the car. When the pressure inside and outside the car is the same, you'll be able to open the door easily and swim to the surface. Number two, gamble in the grasslands. You're back on safari again, and this time you've gotten lost and are at a crossroads in the middle of nowhere. Which road do you not want to walk down? You have three options. A path that leads to an alligator infested swamp, a dirt road leading to a river where hippos live, or an open savanna where you've heard lions live. Which do you choose? Now both the first and last paths sound scary, and they are. I would hate to be stuck in an alligator infested swamp or get chased by lions, but according to the facts, the path you really want to avoid is the second one. That's right, hippos kill between two and 3,000 people every year, which is much more than both alligators and lions put together. Hippos might look slow and stupid, but they're well known as the most dangerous animal in Africa. If you get in a hippo's way or it thinks you're threatening its babies, then you're done for. They're big, heavy, aggressive, and they can run much faster than you. There's not much that will stop an angry hippo stampeding towards you. So this isn't a question of what's the best option, it's a case of avoid that hippo. Number one, Professor Evil's Lair. We're back with our old friend Professor Evil, this time in his secret mountain base. He's locked you in a holding cell where there are only three ways to escape. The first door leads to his latest secret weapon, a chamber made of mirrors with a laser pointing into it that channels the sun's rays and fries anything inside. The second door leads to Professor Evil's chemical weapons lab, and entering without a biohazard suit would kill you in seconds. The third door leads straight to his evil staff room, filled with crazed henchmen who are so bored, they'll just kill you for fun. Which do you choose? Well, let's check your answers. The third door is definitely a bad idea. Those henchmen will skin you alive out of boredom, and there's nothing that relieves boredom more than horrible violence. If you're an evil henchman, that is. The second door will also kill you. Chemical weapons are not to be taken lightly, especially when Professor Evil is involved. There's no biohazard suit around, and I have a feeling the henchman won't let you borrow one either. Nope. There's only one way out of here, and that's door number one. Yes, it's a laser-powered death chamber, but it's a laser-powered death chamber that's powered by the sun. So all you have to do is wait until nighttime, walk through the laser facility, and escape out the other side. Good work! You've made it to the end of my 10 deadly riddles. I hope you've managed to survive them all. How many did you get right? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you want more amazing videos like this, don't forget to hit subscribe. Thanks for watching.